You name the sport and it's the Nyjah Kennedy show. However, she's come a long way to get to this point. And let's get a little bit of a closer look here in the West coming here for what KU could be expecting. Mitch told me he's got the perfect call set and ready to go just in case the Chiefs do win the Super Bowl. As the confetti settles, the realization of what comes next for Kansas City dawns on this team and it becomes just another game in the schedule. So first off, everyone comes in, gets their temperature checked. You have to be below 100.3 and today we're showing 97.2, so we're ready to come in. Find your favorite beer and embrace your inner bartender. This year, even more pronounced. Your cheapest pair of Super Bowl tickets will cost you about $8,000 each. Fans will get a bracelet at the gate indicating that they've been checked in. Verification. And finally, of course, everyone gets their temperature checked. Normal temperature. As we reach the end of this journey, Kansas City looks forward to what comes next. Sure, there's going to be a parade on Wednesday celebrating this team, but they want more. They want another Lombardi Trophy come next year. At Hard Rock Stadium, getting ready for the Super Bowl. In order to get to this point, it's it's taken a lot for Kansas City. We were given all these wristbands, and I assume this is for the halftime show. Rossville is once again the toast of the town in high school football. A big part of their success has been their senior running back, Corey Catrin. Twelve times this season, he's ran in a touchdown. Every one of them meaningful. We're the Bulldogs. Touchdown. A touchdown means six points on the scoreboard. Under the lights on Friday night, nothing like it, honestly. But for Corey Catrin, a score he works his tail off. is worth so much more. Every day I think of her. Corey Catron. The Catrons are a tight-knit family. Oh, they're top of my list. The family that we have is just unmatched. We're, someone gets hurt or someone gets sick, we're all there for each other. They needed to hold each other together when tragedy struck. I had to put my uh, big boy pants on. Hey, Vern, you got four kids back home. You got to buck up, dude. In late 2014, Corey's mom, Vicki, began her battle. I noticed her speech was getting a little bit different. She went to a dentist appointment, and the dentist noticed the texture of her tongue. It was a little bit swollen. He called me the next day and says, I think you need to call your doctor and get checked on this. ASAP. She was diagnosed with amyloidosis, a rare protein deficiency that attacks central organs. No cure exists. So we're like, oh, we got this, we got this, but we had no idea that uh, we were talking months. On May 19, 2015, Vicki passed away. Dad came walking up, not showing very many emotion at the time, but once he walked in, he broke down. There's just part of you that's gone. That's, that's just gone. As the years passed, Corey became a star on the Rossville football team. Just trying to make her proud and anything and everything that I do. As he broke free for a touchdown. It was last year against St. Mary's. He found a way to honor his mother. Halfway through the run, I realized I was going to score and kind of just came up with it then. And then ever since then, just done it every time. A point to his mom, watching from above. I thought it was pretty awesome that he did it. I asked him why he did it. He said he just felt, he just felt, he felt her there. Yeah, I know she's up there watching down on me every, every time I do something, even if it's not on the football field. Now the Catrons also wanted to thank the Rossville, St. Mary, Silver Lake, and countless other communities for helping out while they grieved. Emporia State has meant a lot to Cale Cochran. Our blood runs pretty thick here. It's where he met his wife. Hello, my name is JC Stevens, and I'm a softball player for Emporia State University. I can't put it in words just how much this place means to me, even more how much it meant to my wife. It's where he's returned to grieve. We're making it, you know, as well as we can. We've had people from a thousand miles away reaching out to us, just letting us know that, you know, they're thinking about us. Kale Brendan, I first want to start off by saying I love you so much. The two got married back in July 2018. They soon started their own family. The day she came home and gave me a book, and the book said, my daddy loves you. The look on her face when I opened the book was, you know, was was the most unbelievable thing I've seen, just, just the happiness in her eyes. Jackson was born July 2nd, 2020, and everything seemed normal. However, Bliss immediately turned to despair. And I could tell the nurse was starting to panic a little bit. And I walked out and I said, love you, babe. And all she did was look at me. And she always said, love you back. The news that followed was heartbreaking. 
nurse had a mask on and she's just looking at me with a blank stare and I just said, what's going on? And she just lowered her mask and said, did all we could. JC passed away soon after giving birth. Doctors said she suffered from amniotic fluid embolisms, a rare condition affecting one in every 40,000 births. There's bumps along the road that remind us every day about her, and you know we'll think of her every day. It's just, it's just tough. While one of their own was in pain, Emporia State came to their help. The school held a blood drive in honor of JC. They also had the families throw the first pitch. That's a strike. As special as this place is, man, it just keeps getting better. Jackson leaves the field his mom starred on, carrying her memory. Just the look on his face every day that I get to see him. It's just... It's going to be a constant reminder that there was a very, very special person that used to walk this earth. And half of her gets to walk it every day. And... We get to do it together. You can sense their love. Uh, this past year, Cale was coaching at Cashin High School as they won the Oklahoma State Football Championship. Cale said he thinks JC was watching over them, helping her family bring home a state title.